Hello, I am Dr. Cheryl Carthouse. I'm going to demonstrate to you today how to do the SIBO test. So in your SIBO kit, you'll get labels, you'll get test tubes, you'll get a lactulose solution in a little bag, you'll also get a bubble paper that you will put these tubes in after the test is completed. And then you'll also get this apparatus that helps us to collect the breath in each of these tubes. And then we have the instructions. So the instructions here on this sheet gives us the 24 hour prep that you will be doing. This means that the day before, about 12 hours of so the morning until about 12 uh, midnight, would be to eat foods from this list here. Note that they do not need to be eaten. These are just options. So if white bread is something that you're already avoiding, don't feel obligated to eat that. It's just something that you could possibly eat during this prep time. And if the instructions are as well from your doctor to just do the evening meal, such as the dinner, you could have rice and chicken for dinner, and then just do the test in the morning is when it's typically done. The test does need to be fasted for 12 hours. So that means after dinner time, nothing to eat. Uh, you can drink water and you can drink water throughout the test as well. Now how this test is done is that we take one sample first as a baseline. Then we're going to drink the lactulose solution and that is when your timer starts and then you will be collecting the other samples after that start time. So I will demonstrate here with the instructions. This is what the timeline looks like there. So the first label here in the sample number at the top on the other side there, you're, you would write baseline and then you'll write the date and the time that you actually do the baseline uh, sample and then your patient name. Don't worry about filling out the bottom part here. And then after the baseline, the next one would be sample one is what you would write in there. And then of course the time that that sample is taken and the date would be the same and then the, your patient name. So I'll demonstrate how to do this test. So you would take one of these tubes, open it up, and I just rest it right inside. I'm going to use this pen as an example. Just rest it right inside. This little thing that is covered in a gray sleeve, a rubber sleeve, is a needle. So please don't stick your finger in there. The needle will poke through and everything is set up already as you need it to be. So you don't need to do anything to prepare this apparatus here for adults. So I'm gonna, I would be resting, again, one of these tubes, resting it on the inside there, and we're going to breathe out and collect a mid-breath sample. So we're gonna breathe out, fill the bag, push the tube down, count two seconds, pull the tube off, and then you can stop breathing. I'm gonna demonstrate this a few times. So we breathe out, and when we do take the uh, sample, you just want it to be a normal breath. So not a huge, big, deep breath in, just a regular amount of air that you would be inhaling prior to then exhaling. And then you can stop breathing. So again, just a normal breath, fill the bag up with your air, plug the tube on, count two seconds, take the tube off, and then you can stop breathing. After that baseline is collected, you would then drink your lactulose solution according to the instructions. You'd be mixing it with some water. It tastes like cherry candy. And then you start the timer at that time. So we have baseline, you start a timer, and then 20 minutes after that timer has begun is when you would do your first sample. So say that I drank the solution at 1 p.m., or it'll probably be in the morning, so say I drank the solution at 8, p at 8 a.m., then the time that I will write on here is 8.20, because I started my timer right after I was done drinking the solution at 8 a.m., and then at 8.20, I took my first sample. At 8.40, I will take my second sample. 
at then nine o'clock, I'll take my third sample and so on. And then just be sure to write those times in here. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.